Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the mending charm Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Ropero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Revelio. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying pig is. Accio! Got it! A flying page must be around here somewhere. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't... I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. That's it! Very good! If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Prepare! Nicely done! Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> Leviosa! Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. 
there's something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come Lumos. and find me if you stumble on something. Else. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Ha! <laughs> I knew there was a connection. I should tell the Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Lenora! I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Amit, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that. I heard that someone cast a in front of the car. I really have made a mess. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way, and I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around, so she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Why did Army tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. I'm going to have to use Akio to get to those books. Got it. Only four more to go.
Arrival. Travel. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Lumos. Lumos. the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. I'm not impressed in the least. Do that. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary.
Revelio. to help me with my sad predicament. Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. That's kind of you. I suppose there are a few decent souls here. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Akio! Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones.
Rebellion. 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 I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Off on another adventure, are we? Rebellion. Rebellion. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Accio. how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Scoundrels and rogues, a lot of them. Revelio. Afraid to fight you, scurvy cur. <laughs> Rebellion. Lumos.
I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Levioso! What are you up to now? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio! Rebellion. Revelio. Rebellion. I've always said Akio Alden's the mind. Rebellion. Akio. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her.
I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Of course. They are yours, after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which... Now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. Lumos. Nice to see you, my young friend. Don't get too cocky simply because you had one victory over Salad. Rebellion. Lumos.
Revelio. From the toilet bowl where she said the place is a mole. As long as we only were time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory, not for the He tried to stop me, did Rancor. Oh. Revelio. <laughs> Glad you could make it. Lucan's just Let's over. Go. Revelio. Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does cross wands work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in crossed ones, you could duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organise these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to Rebellion. see you back here again.
Rebellio. Taken to studying during the day. While I remember. Beginner's Guide. My mother adored Transfiguration when she was Everyone knows you can't come. Revelio. Rebellion. Rebellion. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Well, fancy me Rebellion. Rebellion. 